So AutoCAD 2015 is full of new features and some really great new features. But one of my favorites is the lasso functionality. Um, it's just, it's a selection method and it's great for situations like this where you've kind of got non-rectangular or a bunch of objects that you want to make a selection. So if I was to come in here and try to do a window or maybe a crossing, maybe it's a little difficult to select those. So maybe I really only want those objects in the inside. So I'm going to just click and hold the mouse button. And now what I can see is I'm actually creating a lasso-like function, like shape. Now, if you use some image editing software, let's say like Photoshop, you're going to be pretty familiar with this, but they brought this functionality into AutoCAD. Now, it's doing a crossing selection here, so maybe I'm getting more objects than what I want. So I'm going to just hit the space bar and notice that it's actually toggled to a window selection, so I'm actually getting the objects that I want. So I'll let go of the mouse button and it selected those objects. So let's do it down at the bottom here again. So I'll click and drag again, um, doing kind of the wrong selection here. So I'll hit the space bar, got my window selection. Well, maybe I've got a couple more objects what I want. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on the shift key because the shift key in AutoCAD works as a deselect. And what I'm going to do is just come in here and I'm going to do kind of a window selection and hit space bar to go through and deselect them. So you can hold down that shift key to change that. Another great aspect about this lasso functionality is let's click and, and drag here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit space bar and I'm actually going to go into fence mode. And now what will happen is that anything that that line crosses will actually get selected um, by the lasso. So not what's inside of it, but what's actually being crossed by it will get selected. Kind of reminds me of the old sketch command um, that you'd use when you're digitizing maps and, and other things like that. So again, it's just a click and drag to enable, space bar to flip back and forth between the three different selection modes. And if you want to deselect instead of select, you just hold down the shift key. So that's the last two functionality in AutoCAD 2015.